Fans of Bridgerton might be getting excited over the expected happy ending of the relationship between Colin and Penelope, but it has been Penelope keeping the fire burning before now, and all the times Colin rejected her will make you sad as you watch through everything Penn endured. The crazy thing about the dynamic between Penn and Colin is that season three isn't going to instantly take away all of the rejections Colin has been showing Penelope. Is that her brother? Colin? Season three is supposed to be Penn and Colin's season, but he's still going after another girl, like in season one. This is what you think? Let me help you. Are we not friends? Friends. If the story wasn't about the Bridgertons or following the plot of the book, it's obvious that Colin and Penn wouldn't be an endgame with this friend zone extending for so long. And it's no wonder the production had to bring Colin and Penn's season forward because it would have been a cruel love sentence if Penelope had to endure another full season of not being seen. How delightful to see you all. The splendid weather we are having. Sorry, Penelope, it isn't very comfortable to go through that when the suitor you want the most is beside you as you try to get to know other men. I would not be angry if I'm to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington, do not forget that. And again, even when Penelope is trying to get out of it, Colin keeps holding her down with the best words anyone would be elevated to hear. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Since when are you worried about Penelope? Since forever, Eloise. You can't see that because he can't too, so it's a Bridgerton problem because Penelope has always been a sparkling gem who doesn't need many years before being discovered. Even for the first few episodes of season three, Colin still wouldn't get it. And it's wild because Penn deserves more than to be treated like a doormat. Earlier in Bridgerton, Penelope wanted nothing more than to get Colin's attention, but he made sure to overlook her again. I've been trying to get in front of Miss Thompson all night. Surely she cannot be interested in Lord Rutledge, can she? I think the only thing Miss Thompson is interested in is a swift rescue indeed. I believe you're right. Uh, Colin, I did not meet... Oh dear, that was very embarrassing for Penelope because she was obviously the one who needed to be rescued from being unnoticed. Instead, Colin was more occupied with Marina. But then it gets even worse than that when it comes to Colin rejecting Penelope. I shall need to bring you something unexpected. A bushel of tomatoes, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Marina hates tomatoes. Poor old Penelope. No wonder Colin could never see her beyond being a friend because it must hurt pretty bad to be watching her crush hit on another girl. I'm beginning to feel a little bit faint. Perhaps you know of a more private place where I might. Oh, certainly, Miss Thompson, please. Oops, Penelope must have been doing something wrong because it appears Marina did a number on Colin because she could get Colin to treat her affectionately while Penn was stuck in the friend zone the whole time. You must understand this was no mere flirtation. Marina loves this man. She loves him still. And yet she's marrying me. Trust me, Penn. Do not fret. Oh, Colin, Penelope doesn't care much about Marina but you. She's trying to save you for herself, but you still wouldn't listen. You can choose anyone but him. He, he is my friend, Marina. I have known him forever. And I do not want him to be tricked and deceived into a lifelong commitment. You must not do this to a good man. Sweet and daring Penelope even tried to put in a word with Marina to save Colin from being trapped and tricked into fathering another man's baby. But he was a lost cause and he kept seeing everything but Pen. Have I told you Miss Thompson is very accomplished at needlework? She really is quite brilliant. Penelope truly went through a lot because how could Colin notice all of those little things about Marina, but nothing about the huge affection from Penn? Such a disaster. I would like to make a small but rather important announcement. I have happy news to impart. I have asked Miss Marina Thompson to be my wife, and she has accepted. Sorrows. Sorrows, prayers. That was the height of it, and you should have known better to walk in that moment. He is a good man with a good heart. You are very good to him. I am certain one day he will see it. That's so bittersweet for Penelope because Marina could see it, which is great, but also sad because the man couldn't even recognize it. If you would simply open your eyes to what is in front of you, then you might see there are those in your life you already make happy. And who would that be? You have your family. You have Penelope. Penelope? Such a good soul, Marina. 
She tried her best to point it out for Colin, but sadly, nothing came from that. I know you were only trying to prevent me from heartache with Miss Thompson, and, and I was a fool. You were not a fool. You merely believed yourself in love. One should never apologize for that. Yes, right. Although she was talking to Colin, Penelope was trying so hard to tell herself not to be ashamed of being in love with someone, even if they didn't return the same energy. Colin, I wish to tell you something. I have something I wish to tell you as well, Ben. I'm leaving. Now that's wild. Many fans would have argued Penn wasn't straightforward with her feelings, but Colin wouldn't even let her speak. And friends don't do that to each other. I don't remember. <clears throat> Should we dance? Uh, no, um, I'm all danced out for the night. Colin, good luck on your tour. Really, Colin? After telling Penelope that he's leaving, how could Penn talk to him about her feelings and make it come out the same again after that discouraging declaration? Poor and heartbroken Penelope kept getting hurt by the consistent red flags. Colin, you know I've heard you can get excellent tomatoes. Grease. Perhaps you could bring back a tomato plant for Miss Thompson as a souvenir when you return from your travels this year. I am uncertain of my travels at the moment, Ben. Uh, but you are so keen to travel. No, this is unacceptable from Colin. One minute you are leaving and the next minute you aren't sure because of Marina. Thankfully, Marina was able to excuse herself and with her out of the picture, Colin's selective blindness only got even worse because season two was another agony trip for Penelope. I see. You met someone. And I finally found you. You always do. You've been back a matter of hours yet you're already in my way. Wow. Penelope could never get away with spending more than enough time with Colin without being interrupted. Someone more like Colin. My brother? No, not Colin. Colin! Glad to see things have not changed. Even Eloise couldn't figure out that Penn had something special for Colin. So maybe overlooking Penn's feelings is a Bridgerton thing after all. They are courting. They've danced a couple of times together at a ball. Colin has done the same with Penelope Featherington. Except Anthony, who noticed Colin and Penn's special friendship. Colin is my friend. <laughs> As if he would ever waste his ink on someone like you. Oh dear, no wonder she felt too lonely because even her own sister paid her no mind. Colin Bridgerton is no more your friend than I am the next Catherine the Great. Mother, not you either. You can imagine how it was so hard for Penn's family to agree that Colin is Penelope's friend. She would have definitely been laughed at if she revealed how she was greatly in love with the Bridgerton boy, so it was always Penelope against the whole world. I was not exactly lonely on my travels. I did begin a real conversation with someone, someone I had known for a very long time, and yet, after everything that happened with Miss Thompson, I realized I never truly knew this person at all. Oh, Colin, you almost shattered Penelope with that statement because it would be unbelievable if you were truly describing another woman like that. I cleared my head, swore off women and love, and, well, I only wanted to fully understand myself before stepping back into this world. That's selfish, honestly, because Colin knew how precious it is to be seen for who you are, but he still chose not to see Penn. So Colin has always shown an intentional but also clueless disregard for Penn. So one off women then? Not for the time being. I am a woman. You are Penn. You do not count. You're my friend. Of course. Oh goodness, that hurts for Penn. Continuing to be friends with him after such an outrageous statement is one of the reasons Penn found it hard to be able to get out of the friend zone. Because honestly, if even Colin refuses to see Penn's self-worth, she deserves to give herself the pleasure of not being disrespected like that again. Our relationship has taken shape so naturally over the years. One could take it for granted. You have always been so constant and loyal. I don't believe I deserve such praise for my loyalty. But you see, Colin never allowed Penn to fully make an exit because as soon as she's about to, she gets trapped and praised for being a good friend. At least it's the best consolation Penn could get for being treated like a hidden and abandoned flower. You would not be making up an excuse just to call on me, would you? <laughs> It's so manipulative what Colin does because going from praising someone for being a constant in your life to dancing with another lady who's all over you doesn't make sense. And he is to be married. Benedict has his artistic pursuits and well, here I am, feeding the ducks. 
why I'm sure the ducks are most grateful. No, Colin, there you are with Penn, who loves you the most. This footage even pointed out how Colin would see and notice everything around him, but not figure them out because those weren't ducks, but swans. Come with me. Colin, it could be thought quite scandalous for the two of us. Sweet Pen, Colin didn't see her as a lady enough to get into a scandalous situation with, and he wasn't expecting people to look at them and think the same thing too, because the thought of them being together would have been ridiculous to Colin. You see, Colin knows what scandal is when other men are doing it to Penelope, but it literally doesn't apply to him. How dare you take advantage of these poor ladies, Featherington, without a father or a husband to protect them? It is out of concern for their reputation alone that I will only address this matter in private. He's also very passionate and protective, as he always stands up for Penelope, but fails to show up where it matters the most. I cannot thank you enough for looking after us. I will always look after you, Penelope. Colin can be sweet too, but it's confusing at this point because these are the things people say to someone they love, but Colin throws it all at Penelope, who's supposed to keep being that reliable friend. Lady Crane was right about you. Lady Crane? What did she say? That you cared for me. That you would never forsake me. I'm beginning to believe that now. Oh, Colin, maybe there's still hope for Penelope after all. I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Not in your wildest fantasies, Fife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, it doesn't have to be this way, Colin, because you just dashed any hope that might be left. He keeps getting ashamed to be considered to be courting Penelope, and that was a strong one that ruined everything for Penn and Colin in season two. Penn had been hopeful, he would eventually come around, especially with his words of affirmation, but Colin is never that person to understand hints. You've succeeded already, Colin. Only if whatever I'm looking for can be found at the bottom of this flask. I am certain you will find your purpose one day. Everyone must eventually. Have you found yours? <laughs> of course not. She hasn't found it because you make it impossible to find Colin, and that's sad. There is no use dwelling on the past. I am indeed thinking of the future. Pardon me, Pen. Hmm, the future Colin should be thinking about is right before him. It has always been Penelope, and figuring that out shouldn't be difficult.